This is Luke from Email Electric. We're here today to talk about the battery options for the ePropulsion Spirit Evo and ePropulsion Spirit 1.0 Plus. So most customers go for the Spirit battery. That's what we have on here now. It's lightweight, it's portable, it floats, easy to put on and off, generally has enough battery capacity and range for most customers. But every once in a while we have someone who wants to use a different battery or put the Spirit battery in a different location. So if you'd like to use an E-Series battery from E-Propulsion or a third-party battery, you'll need this cable. One end plugs in to your uh, motor cable here instead of into the battery, and then the positive and negative go into the other battery. Uh, we do recommend using an E-Propulsion battery, but they are um, they are compatible with third-party batteries. The other thing we'll show you today is the power extension cable for the Spirit. So every once in a while we run into a customer who wants to use the Spirit battery, they want to put it somewhere else on their boat. Sometimes it's because of space, right? This battery is relatively long, maybe it hit something on the boat, or maybe you don't want all your weight in the stern. If that's the case, you would use the power extension cable so you could take this battery off, bring it to the other location on our boat. This cable is two meters long, so about six and a half feet. One end goes right into this cable that comes off of our motor. And then the other end plugs right into the battery like so, allowing you to put the battery somewhere else on the boat. If you do go that route, or either of these routes where the battery is not sitting on top of the shaft, and you wanna make your motor look a little bit better, you can get the Spirit Motor Cowling. So this is just an empty plastic shell. It's all for aesthetic purposes. Uh, you don't need it, but it does make your motor look a little bit nicer. So to put it on, I'm gonna line up these two slots there with these two black pieces of metal on your motor. To do so, you kind of got to get down here, get one on there, get the other side on, and then gently slide it down. Sometimes it takes a little bit of finagling, but that is about it. So now you can see the motor just looks a little bit better. Uh, it also looks a lot smaller. So some people just like to do this because it looks a little bit cleaner. So these are uh, some common options if you do want to use a different battery. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or send us an email, give us a call. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you're interested in more videos on electric outboards, please subscribe to our channel.